Sanjay, welcome to our uh, little session today. I'd like to ask you a few questions. One of the key elements of your talk is that by managing the customer experience with a focus on profitability, operators are able to improve their customer lifetime value and build competitive advantages. We keep hearing a lot about customer lifetime value, so I'd like you to explain that to us as well. Can you explain what your thoughts on the future for this uh, will be? Sure, certainly. I mean, first of all, thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity. I think uh, Africa, as I said probably in my panel discussions here before, that we have uh, taken the crop of the cream, which is the high-end subscribers. And as an industry, we are now approaching uh, people at the bottom of the pyramid with, uh, with three or four dollars to spend for telecommunication. And uh, I think there always is a question, as a service provider, do I go and offer services to these people? Do I have a business case? Can I motivate my shareholders to make investments there? I think that's why the CLV, the customer lifetime value discussion becomes very important. And um, as said, uh, when approaching these type of subscribers as a service provider or as an industry, we have to start looking at different business models. I mean, uh, I was telling you a couple of minutes before regarding a book that I wrote that what, what that basically, if I take a point out of that, is it challenges the profitability models we've been using, which is the DuPont model, right? Profit is equal to cost minus uh, revenue minus cost. And then if you look at revenue from a telecoms perspective is ARPU, and it is the net additions. While as the op cost is OPEX plus CAPEX. So what I'm suggesting is we take CAPEX out of the equation and we take our part of the equation. And then we start the discussion. And I think then you come into uh, customer lifetime value. And I mean, one thing that we uh, discovered in the research, uh, which turned into the book, was that the poorest of poor subscribers in this continent are paying huge premium. Let's go to South Africa as an example. Three rands per minute. And if you go down to the lowest level of the denomination, prepaid denomination, those guys pay between eight to 12 times more than a postpaid high bro subscriber. And the, the high postpaid subscriber gets a free handset. The poor man has to buy his handset as well. Where are we headed? Yeah, I think uh, as I, our consumers have been very tolerant. They pay really high fee and they don't complain too much. I mean, that's why you see Service providers are running businesses with very few people and very profitably. Uh, so what, what's happening now is that these consumers are now starting to become global citizens and they, they're seeing that what, is, what they can expect. And we're seeing a trend now that there are more and more expectations out of consumers emerging. I mean, Africa was not connected. There was, but now slowly, as we're building networks, as we're giving uh, information access to people, they're becoming internet savvy. And when you become internet savvy, you demand services at internet speed. And I think that's a obvious trend. And of course, service providers have to respond to that, I think. Well, how will the changes you see happening impact the way the next generation of information, communication, and even entertainment services being designed, created, and delivered for the African market? I think we tried. I mean, we are a strong player in this market. I mean, we tried for a few years to bring in what worked in other parts of the world and try to excite the African users, it doesn't work. I think what you have to do is you have to go out there, understand their needs, and then based on that, massage the technology to create what they want. I mean, uh, today you heard, uh, we talked about serving the unbanked. 4% of Africans have a bank account. How do the rest do their financial transactions? I think we have to think about those things, and there's a lot of money to be made if we address those needs those desires, those wants. Yes, we heard a wonderful term today about getting closer to the mattress, where apparently the money is kept. Yeah, I'm not sure if that will work in, in other markets, but it's an interesting observation. Yeah, it's true. How will the new era of mobile communications take a fundamental role in not just the communications infrastructure, mm. but the social and economic future of the region, just like you mentioned with banking? Yeah, I think, again, uh, you have to look at what has telecoms done to Africa. Let's take the last five years. And you go from uh, region to region in the African continent. I mean, there are countries, I mean, let's take Nigeria, for instance. Every dollar put into telecoms infrastructure is giving $4 to the economy. 
I think that's what it is doing. Uh, communication, spend in communication networks or communication technology is boosting the economies of these places. So we're creating the economic activity in these places. And I, I think that's why it's paramount. I mean, when we are building network, we don't have to use European uh, business cases. We have to use business cases that railroad company did when they were building up the railway network. So I think that is the attitude we have to have. And uh, I think uh, we, are, we are, I mean, service providers are today evaluating these models. and. That's the right direction. It's another great analogy. Sanjay Cole from Ericsson, thank you for being with us today. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it.